Uh, welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing a review for Lamborghini. Uh, it's not original Lego, it's a remake of it, uh, but I got it really cheap, so it's all that matters. And uh, we've got some real Lego over here. All of this is actual Lego. Uh, and I want to talk about my first technique. So I got this, uh, I think it was made in 1998, the actual set release. And um, I got it when I was a kid and I built every single model out of it. Uh, it's got cool features, it's all working. Uh, it's all programmable, it makes cool noises, you know, it's got uh, the tilt bucket, the clothes, it grabs the tires, lifts them up, drops them off, and stuff like that. Um, it's all really cool, makes different noises, once it's ready, and almost there. When you drive it, it makes different truck noises. It's really cool and fun to play with. Uh, then we had our cheap Porsche. I think this thing is about 230, 250 bucks. Uh, it's really good for what it is. Uh, by the size comparison, it's really close to all these new techniques. Um, suspension is great. It's still got, you know, opening features. And stuff like that. Uh, the interior, it's still there. It's not as good as, um, I'm probably missing the plate here, I'm sure it. Uh, you know, it's not as good as the new stuff, but we'll talk about that in a sec. So, you know, for what it, how much it cost, it's, it's a great uh, Lego set, you know. And then you have your Porsche. When you look at that, that was one of the first uh, a proper Technic cars, which look like a great car, you know. Uh, you got your engine at the back, which you can't see, which is a bit disappointing. You can open this and you can see a glimpse of your engine, uh, which is cool, but I think um, they should have done something here to see the engine. Obviously, you got your shifter. I changed that. Uh, it used to have some ugly thing, and I put little red ball, uh, which I think way cooler. Uh, it's got your gauges, the doors open, seats are not too bad, I really like the design. Uh, it's all really dusty because it just sits there. You know, you got your glove box with the number, and then you have your steering, right? So, all of that, very fancy, and then obviously your little bag, that's where the bags started, right? So that's, that's a fun set, and I like the orange. And as you can see, which is pretty important, I suppose, for this video, the orange is all same color, right? So Lego did it right. Uh, it's great looking car. We have to remember that once it's put together, all the fun is finished and it's just gonna live on the shelf and you can just look at it and admire it. Then I had this bad boy. This is by far one of the coolest techniques, I think. Um, so this is your Bugatti. Uh, I think I did quick review this against um, the Chinese version. And uh, every day I would definitely buy both or just this. Uh, this is the car you have to have in Technic. Look at this blue. The blue is perfect. Everything on the car is great. You know, they really put details. You got little stickers in the bag. You know, the bag looks like a bag. The, the front looks like a car, you know, the only thing they missed out on this car is a suspension. But suspension can be fixed, there is tutorials on YouTube how to change Lego pieces to make it stronger. But I think, you know, this is something we could forgive them, just because how well Lego did everything else. You know, you have your wing, which lifts up and you can use this key if you really want to. Um, most of the time you just muscle it. Um, at the back you can see the engine pistons, which is really important because when you change your gears, you know, you can see the different speeds and stuff like that. So it's really, really cool. Right now it's in neutral, by the way. Um, it's all really, really cool. So as you can see now, it's doing its thing. Um, it was amazing to put together and it was just great, great thing to play with, you know. And, you know, like the detail, like this color of the sticker was matching the color of the interior and the interior was done with little dents, you know, stickers, uh, like 
there was so much stuff in the car, like, you know, the little stickers for the doors, everything was really, really almost perfect, you know, like, you really enjoy playing with this, and, like, you look at the rear, and it looks, looks like a car, look at the exhaust, you know, like, exhaust is, looks great, everything looks great, you know, you really want to touch it, you really want to own it, it was a great car to have, right? And then, obviously, the new set is your Lamborghini. When you talk about Lamborghini, Lamborghini is always passionate about their cars, how they look, and just, you know, it's a car with a big history and a lot of pride. Uh, Lamborghini is always um, very big on their design on the cars. Um, and this is what we got from LEGO. Like, let's not be silly. Just because this car is not made by LEGO doesn't mean they did not use same instructions. The Lego did really well, I would say, up to here and doors, right? So when you look at the front, it's really, really nice how it's got this um, bonnet, which looks like, you know, Lamborghini bonnets. They're really short and, you know, they look um, very good. Uh, just the way the curves, they got that. The lights, great great idea like working with the three white pieces it does make light look really cool you got all these different tiers of your uh, bumper you know and it just looks very nice the only thing I think they didn't complete on 100% is that piece here so I think they could have done something better over here than just putting you know that the two little connectors, they could have done something smooth to really outline this path, but that's a bit silly. And I'm not sure what's going on with this thing. This is also weird. I don't think it belongs here. I don't know what it does. The rims, wheels are great. The doors, obviously everybody knows about this feature when you can press at the back and open the door. That is also really good feature um just before we continue this set uh the chinese set was actually really good quality uh, i'll show you stuff uh, with the gears and everything everything seems to be working about at 80 percent um 80 to 90 percent it's not as smooth as lego as usual lego is obviously better quality and stuff like that uh, but for price you pay it's actually really good i think it's a lot better than the other chinese bugatti i had uh, definitely better quality. There was a one piece uh, which was um, broken, which I'll show you in a sec. Uh, but other than that, everything was pretty bang on the money. Uh, Alright, so uh, let's have a look at the main things I didn't like, which is pretty much the rest of it, right? Uh, I don't understand what's going on here. Why does it have like almost a meter and a half of a dashboard, which is just two flat pieces, right? If you look at every single dashboard with the other cars, look at this, it's got curvature of the dashboard. You know, it's flat for a little bit, it does have a little bit of give to it, right? But then it's also got curvature, it's, you know, it's got stuff going on here. It's not just like, you know, a massive space. The dashboard here is probably one of the better ones. You got your curvature, your stickers, you know, everything looks really great. It's got that leather color. And then you get to this, like, what happened, Lego? Like, were you just on the lunch break and you had to go and get some donuts or something? That's really annoying. However, that's carried to the roof, all right? The roof is also flat. I don't think I've seen the car with the flat roof before. Like, let's, let's look at the Porsches. They put details, right? This is not flat. This is not flat. This is not flat why all of a sudden they went flat why couldn't they put two of those black pieces here either side you know that would fix everything that would give that a little bit of curvature right this is just boring flat lego surface exactly the same as this like i absolutely hate this and this is uh one of the things which is like irritates me about this car which you kind of have to fix yourself i suppose uh this is the sides not too bad the doors came out really good um they could have put a little bit more effort on inside. Remember, this this car need to be better than this, right? Look at the progression. They improved every single time till they got to this, right? This is massive step backwards. 
to just do two, two, two things like this, this is just ridiculous, right? I don't know, just absolute garbage, all right? Um, next thing is interior. Did you guys know, obviously, I'm not gonna talk about the, you know, the knob for your shifting gears. I changed mine already, all right? You can use a little bowl for it if you want. This is what it used to look like, which is just boring gray piece. Definitely not a fan of that. So I changed that. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool with little, I don't know, button or whatever. So it does your neutral and all this other piece, you know. Um, with that, that was moved. All right, I moved that. That was actually sitting here. If you don't trust me, uh, jump on the brick link and look at his build. He's building actual Lego set with the Lego instructions. His uh, gadgets sit in the middle like this. I actually moved that, which took a second. I don't know what happened with Lego, but uh, that just shows really poor, I don't know, sportsmanship on their behalf. All right, and we'll talk about that in a sec. Um, and another thing uh, over here where the door connects, um, that was just a gray, gray Lego piece, which I covered up and put red, um, I don't know what you call them, little supports to make sure this sits there really nice and tight, just to give that support to the doors, all right? So I strongly believe uh, that this happened, all of these little things happened because there's no competition. Lego owns the market. You can't go to the shop and buy a Lego not from Lego, all right? There's no technique you can get not from Lego besides like stuff like this, you know? Um, and that's that shows Lego that they can, they don't have competition. They don't have to strive to be better. You know, they just, oh yeah, we gotta release the car. We released it, you know? We meet the deadlines and that's what we gave you. I'd rather have no Lamborghini than Lamborghini like this, you know. Um, let's go to the next thing. This back, everybody was just like, yeah, look, you can see the engine. But like on a real car, this stupid thing does not lift up completely, right? Like Lego did it. Like that's not a thing. How hard is it to put a couple of, you know, connectors, which I use from the back of this lead, just to, you know, lift the stupid thing like this and you know I obviously I had a quick solution I just made an old school stick you know something you'll see on the cheap cars uh, I don't have any fancy Lego to put like to stay there I might come up some, with something to do it which would be cool but right now I just have a simple stick and it works you know if you're gonna display something you don't want this thing off it looks a lot cooler when it's open like this you know you can have whole entire car open on a display just sitting there like this, you know, that looks way better than you would have it with this thing completely off somewhere, you know, on the shelf. I don't understand what was that all about. Like the real car doesn't have that. Uh, you know, what's the point of going through all this detail and then just taking this thing off, you know? Uh, and there's a little bits like, I like how they've done carbon fiber and the engine look. The engine worked out really well. The suspension, they fixed the suspension, finally. Look at this. This is amazing, all right? This is really impressive stuff, how the suspension works. Uh, the stickers are cool. The engine, cool. Um, I'll show you in instructions, a couple of things. Um, but overall, uh, the big note to the China is that car is, car is actually the same color all of the pieces on the car is the same yellow, you know, it's not like you look at it and it's like, whoa, why is this yellow, why is this green, you know, there's no such thing. And you would think um, when Lego send their sets to YouTubers, you would think they actually, I don't know, have some quality control, you know, at least to get them, you know, sorted, whereas they just sent them, they didn't care, they just sent uh, all the rubbish. Um, miss colors you know to the youtubers and then they all over youtube now you know all these different 50 shades of green lamborghinis uh obviously we're not going to be able to afford real lamborghini but still you know reputation of lamborghini from lego it's a bit down i reckon and then exhaust that does not look like exhaust i don't know what they're thinking were they doing drugs were they in america you know uh what happened there what is this this is this is definitely not a thing why couldn't they make a Lego piece to make cool exhausts, you know? They have a factories, teams of designers, a budgets of everybody buying these really expensive cars, you know? 
this is not fake, it's all Lego, this all costs a fair bit of money. Why couldn't they use money from these sales to design a Lego piece to make a good looking exhaust, not this thing? What What is this supposed to be? You know, this is not exhaust. I don't know what it is. Like, don't even ask me. Um, what happened here? Somebody took a bite out of the car. This just looks not finished. The lights, I absolutely hate the lights. Honestly, <laughs> just as much as these flat surfaces, the lights also not doing it for me. Uh, spoiler, I don't know. I don't know if I could do better than this to get this shape, but it just looks like there's too many pieces. Like you look at all the other cars and they do generally make you feel good about looking at them. You, you know, you want to own them and you, they look great, you know. You look at this and you go, this is have to be fixed, this have to be fixed, this have to be redone. I'm pretty sure when the original pictures of a Lego, uh, of a Lego beginning came out, there was heaps of posts, people saying, this have to be fixed, that have to be fixed. I'm, I'm not happy with that. Yep, I'm going to redo this, I'm going to redo that. It shouldn't be a thing. The, the, the car should come out and everybody should be, yes, this looks great, I don't want to touch it, you know, it's art. Because you're paying lots of money, you know, somebody designed this, it needs to look like a real car. But right now it looks like a cheap Lego set. If I don't know, it's definitely not growing with me. Um, I'm going to have to wait, see what YouTube does, and see if anybody comes up with the better idea for the back of it. Like I said, the, everything at the front, the front of the car looks great. The door is great. The engine stick is great. Up to here, they put a lot of effort from here backwards with this chip, the dash in the interior of the car on uh, Bugatti just like 10 times better than this. Just because they have, you know, adjustable uh, mirrors like everybody says, you know, this, this car doesn't, this one does, you know, it's not a big deal. It's not something you have to be like complimenting the car on. And you have all these reviews, like we've done it again. No, they didn't. They, they completely stuffed the color of the car, which is pretty, pretty bad. They didn't bother, you know, making simple things like the looks of outside of the car. And then, you know, they expect massive money for it. Um, I had a really good think about it and I decided not to actually get the Lego Lamborghini just because I don't want a car with the different colors and I can't be bothered, you know, fixing this. I just wasn't really happy with the car and the way they done it, so pretty disappointing, but I just rather have this and I can, you know, I got some yellow pieces as well, some black pieces, which I might slowly change this around and I'm, I am quite happily change this on this car, you know, because it's only 150 bucks, who cares, you know, I can glue whole entire thing if I want to. Um, all right, let's talk about the mechanics. So remember, this is $150, right? Uh, the crazy thing is, uh, this is, actually, here you go. You gotta spin two wheels. So this is all wheel drive, so you can see the wheels do work. Uh, the one thing that we did really cool is they uh, did that gear box, so you can see the gears. Uh, I'm not gonna bother changing it there because there's a little wheel here. Um, so you can change your gears, you know, it's all, it's all works. And actually a lot better for the Chinese, <laughs> Chinese Lego. The, the other one was just a nightmare, whereas this one actually shifts the gears. And uh, the cool thing, obviously, um, I'll tell you a little thing about it too. I stuffed one of the things at the build, which were a pain in the ass. Uh, but if you look here, look at that, I can just do this. And you can see the cylinders here with two hands free. So right now it's in the neutral, right? Um, the cylinder, you can see, is not moving. But if I chuck it into drive or whatever, it's starting to move. It's not smooth, but it's moving. It's all I care about, right? Um, so what I did wrong on a differential underneath here, I put the differential backwards, so whenever this wheel spin, the other spin, the other wheel would spin opposite direction, so it would spin inwards or outwards, and I was making it impossible to, you know, to play with or push around, and that was so annoying. That had to come out. That had to come out. All of these had to be 
undone, the engine had to come out, um, and then I had to flip the differential other way around. So make sure you do check them the way you put them in, because it was a, such an easy mistake which completely stuffed everything but now it's all fixed it only took like maybe half an hour wheels had to come out you know everything had to come out um that was a, a nightmare to fix but that was all done and honestly here's a piece of lego which was broken that sits that sits over here uh so because that was broken the other one was good um i decided just to go for black and then the black is already here, so it doesn't really matter. Probably would have been even better if I could replace all of it black. But that's the only thing they stuffed it for me. That was the only little Lego piece, I suppose. Well, not non-Lego piece that was a bit wrecked. But it sits pretty well here, doesn't it? Um, uh, so the changes, what I did, obviously I changed that. I just had this to show you. Over here, that's replaced. It was a little fix. I got rid of these bits here, put um, different pieces uh, to hold this together. But that's the lead works. That works great. Obviously, the stick you saw that was cool. I reckon old school edition. Uh, the gear shifter changed. So that's changed. That's moved, and that's covered. So that's my changes so far. I'll definitely be changing this. Like I can't, I can't have that on the shelf. It'll just make me angry every single time I look at it. Um, when I was building this thing, so I was, it was all great. I was playing with it. I was, I was building it up to somewhere here, I reckon, after the seats. Once I got to here, I am kind of started to lose interest in it. Like, it was really good build. But then, when I got to here, somewhere here, I reckon, that's when I was kind of, like, starting to have doubts about this car. It worked pretty well. Like, honestly, the, the interior with the gear shifting and everything. Here, yeah. when I got to this thing, that's... That's when I was like, what's going on? Why did they do that? Right here, where is this? Once I put that thing right here, I just went, what is going on? Like, why would they even bother doing this? It just looks cheap. I don't know. Here it is. Here's that bit here. Like, you know, I don't know if the proper Lego one is better, but like, it just, I don't know. I thought it would be a great idea to um, have it sitting up, to so have like a little, it sits flat, right? I thought it would be cool if you, you know, put it on the angle, like you would assume a real car would have, uh, but then it heats on that lid. Either way, you can't, you can't do it. You have to have it where it is, otherwise the lid will probably sit like this, you know, because it won't close properly. I also changed this. I hate these little things when they pop off, like it was on those two things and it's just like, I can't do it, sorry. Um, I had to change that, I lifted, I lifted that up and then put a little space here with that. At least that looks more like, more aesthetically pleasing to me than what it was. It was just like, you know, two little hand looking things holding it, you know, what's going on. That's exhaust. You must be kidding me. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you the piece I stuffed too. That's the only one mistake I did, which was pretty costly, I suppose. Uh, so at the back, so that must have been at the start. That, I put that, instead of facing this way, it was facing that way. So that big, big wheel was on the other side. Realistically, what I could have done I could have seen which one is easier to fix, front or back. I could have just changed the back one to other way, or the front one to the other way around. So they're both the same, but yeah, that's what I stuffed. Well, overall, I was super happy with the price and the quality. As you can see, like there's a lot of stuff which do work pretty well when it comes to the mechanical. Um, but the actual design 
I think it could have been done so much better. Even if they changed just the roof and the flood bit over there and put like more care to it. Um, the steering wheel, I'll show you the steering wheel, which is absolute trash. Imagine that. Maybe I stuffed it and didn't put it in the right spot and I'd be like, look Lego. It would look like a fool, right? Yep, I stuffed it. Well, here we go. They did it. They did it correctly anyway. I had it stuffed, but then Bricklink also got his stuff. So careful on this spot. I'll get you because I'm pretty sure I put that instead of those two holes. I put them in those two holes over here. But yeah, here you go. That's all resolved. Sorry, Lego. But other than that, roof is still trash. So uh, here we go. I'll definitely do second part, uh, maybe in a couple of months time, if I do fix all these little bits, but if you can't afford real deal, this is probably the second best you can get, and you probably get better quality colors, because the green is just stupid. All right, safe to say, I won't have a green one of those, I'll just have this one, but I'll definitely keep uh, looking forward to the next one. Maybe next one is going to be Ferrari or something cool and I can bounce right back into it. Uh, do it red. Thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you next time.